we are headed to the biggest skate park in all of the boroughs of New York City. The skate park is all the way in Washington Heights, which is the farthest north that I've ever been in the city. I didn't get exact dimensions, but they say the park is 1.5 times bigger than Elias Skate Park, New York's most popular skate park, which is humongous. There's also a lot of comments about the sketchiness of the skate park itself, how you shouldn't go alone. Therefore, that's exactly what I'm doing, and I have all my expensive stuff with me, so worst case scenario, well, at least just take a tour of the park if I can't post up there. Do you know how I get to the skate park from this area? Yeah, but be careful with a lot of crackheads and junkies and shit. Oh, really? Yeah, really, so yeah, okay. you gotta go upstairs and like that. Okay, all right. I got you, I appreciate you. Thank you. the skate park which is a good and relieving sign regardless of everything else this park so far is insane it is humongous and there's so many different obstacles let's just do a little tour you have this side area where you can do runs there's a lot of ledges there's the ledges that go up and down that even this homemade contraption right here and it ends with a massive handrail got a pretty hella stair set which then leads into this other area with a bunch of different obstacles that a lot of people I'm sure would have a lot of fun in, but there is someone living there currently. And it seems like you have three different directions. You can go this way, this way, or this way, which is probably the main skate park. So let's go this way. All right, there's nothing really there besides leading into this stair set. So let's go uh, back over here. So you start off with this handrail with terrible run up, which I bet a lot of people probably don't skate very often. Now this might be the most proportionately accurate area, but all the transition looks perfect. It's brick, which is a really cool feel for a skateboard, and then the actual stair set and hubba and rail are a little more accurate to the proportion of how it would be in real life rather than being super tall and super short in a weird way. It seems perfect. I'm just gonna experiment probably in this little area right here. I'm gonna let him skate over there. Since it is really early in the morning, I want him to just have as much fun as he wants. And then of course the other areas seem a little, uh, preoccupied so this is my training ground for the day skate area is that this area is super beautiful. It's ironic that right there and right there, there's fiends hanging out. According, that's what he called them. What was it, what was it on Instagram one more time? Harlem Luxury. Harlem Luxury, gotcha, Harlem gotcha. Harlem Luxury, it's Ben June from Significant Pounds, man. Check us out. Boom, appreciate you. How's this park up here? Is it, is it cool? Is it kind of hectic? Or? Honestly, this is one of the dopest parks uptown. It's crazy because it's a lot of fiends over here, but we make them niggas clean the fucking park, man. So we can skate shred, man. Day in the life. Appreciate it. Just basically people on drugs and he even said now that he's here I can go skate in that area and he's like yo if you got company there's no worries but the other guy originally left so it's just me and him and I might actually dip out in just a second. I'm tired. And I'm sorry I didn't really tackle this area over here. It's just, I am exhausted. And I agree, that park is undeniably amazing. Yes, the area might be a little sketchy, but I think the park, the whole $30 million initiative to clean the area is to try to make this a hotspot of New York City. And this is also my first time randomly going through Harlem, I think, and it's pretty. And obviously a park like that is amazing and it gets a lot of people to go into that area, but for me, a box is fine. The local skate park yesterday right near me in Brooklyn I went to and it has this brand new box that's pretty awful and I had a blast.
And the truth is I haven't had any friends or seen any skaters that I follow skate that park. It was a brand new look for me, period. I would totally recommend it if you go there with a crew. I'm sure if you're with four or five people, it wouldn't feel concerning at all. Kind of the way that I would recommend skating most of Manhattan or Brooklyn or anywhere because it opens up the range of spots that you will be safe at. But being alone with all of my camera gear and all this expensive stuff, I'm pretty much just asking for it. Even still, I am enjoying the hell out of skateboarding in this city recently and in Brooklyn, doing what I do. And I hope you enjoyed today's inside look at a $30 million renovation for a skate park up in that area. And tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for another video. I actually went street skating yesterday as well, and I will show that footage as soon as I'm done flapping my mouth. But I'll see you next time. I love you so much. Progress daily and keep going good. Oh, <laughs>